Previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. <coughs> you got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. Listen to me. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. And hey, Mike, we need to figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Old Micah Bell? Micah. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. You talked. It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! Come on, Arthur! We gotta go! You go. Now. It would mean a lot to me. Please. Go. Arthur. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you, bastards! I got you now, Black Lung! Rat! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lung! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! Ah! What? It's over. Oh, Dutch. I gave you all I had. I did. Uh, uh, Come on. Dutch, let's go, buddy. We made it. Sean made it. He's the only one. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta 
Live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I'm always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel of the boy Calloway and the men from the moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king? What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Hi, everybody. Riskmonger here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, where we are now in the epilogues, and John Marston has officially replaced Arthur Morgan as the game's playable character. It is now some years after the events of the main story, and we're now on our way to Strawberry with our family to try to make a decent life for ourselves. Right, let's switch to cinematic camera for this journey. Whoa. I guess the game doesn't like that idea. Okay, here we go. So, based on what little we know so far, it looks like Arthur's plan to help me escape from Dutch's gang with my wife Abigail and our son Jack was a success. But it's also clear that it's a tough task for a hard-bitten outlaw to integrate himself into polite society. Even after all those years, our instinct is still to shoot first and probably not even bother asking questions. Although, to be fair, right off the bat, it seems like Abigail's expectations for me are a little lofty. She's telling me to just be good and honest, as though that's not a process that involves a lot of hard work and change, it can sometimes take years. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. It's been a long time. All right, so we've been to Strawberry before in the game, although never with John. Arthur came here to rescue Micah from jail, and we had to shoot up the whole town to escape. That was pretty much the extent of the time we spent here. Why don't you pull up just here? Why don't you just chill out and let me drive? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or... Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Yeah, you go do that. All right, our first look at epilogue John Marston. He's got shorter hair and a much fuller beard than the main story. Also wearing that dumb hipster hat. Looks like he's got a longer and leaner build than Arthur. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh... Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. <laughs> That's yeah. definitely my, my name. My wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. 
Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, Getty's? Where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right, that was easy. Maybe it's not as hard to be good and honest as I originally thought. All right, let's see how John moves. Good long strides. <laughs> nice jumping form. All right, let's see how he climbs. Oh, can't get up on that rock. All right, there's the doctor's office. And up those stairs. No, wait, where are you going? <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Game helped me out a little. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> oh, come on. Say it back, John. Oh, you coward. What, do you think it makes you less of a man to express your affection? Show your woman some appreciation, why don't you? After everything she's put up with from you? But like I said, it's a process. Load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. All right, so going up to the Gettys Ranch. The only Gettys I know are Getty Lee, of Rush, of Salesman, of Salesman. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. All right, going over the directions. Is that the game trying to justify the existence of horse GPS? I guess you can't really have the character say, all right, I'll just follow the yellow line on my map, down on the left there. All right, take it slow around this corner. And it's cool that the epilogues take you to a part of the map that you don't have to explore in the game's story. I was never really up here with Arthur. And I would try to put on cinematic camera again, but to be honest, I don't trust it to keep me on the path and not jostle all my cargo. I mean, I trust it even less than I trust myself, which is not saying much. All right, pleasant traveling music. Lake. I tell you, the epilogues are no less visually stunning than the main story, that's for sure. Oh. I guess that was a shadow of a bird overhead. Oh, look out for that rock! Okay. What is that? Is that a raccoon? Hey there, little buddy. Alright, now that we're on the straightaway. I think we can speed it up a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> Almost ate it on that bridge. Oh no! More rocks on the right! Slow down to look at those rapids over there. Huh. I'll bet the game's developers 
I'll bet the game's developers had an entire graphics division focused entirely on the water effects. I mean, this stuff looks really good. There we go north. <laughs> it's not like we have a lot of choices. There's only one road. Alright, giddy up. Man, it looks like there was a fire here recently. These trees are looking pretty scorched. But that's actually good. Naturally occurring forest fires are necessary to preserve the ecosystem. Ooh, look at those piglies. Whoa. No. Better look back at the road. This must be it. Alright, here we are. Nice looking ranch house. Easy there. Take it nice and slow for the turn in. Look at all these flowers. What are these, lupines? You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. You can say that again. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. <laughs> Big man around, boy? Well, who's this now? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Yeah. Oh, oh, just gonna steal my wagon? Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! You can use that horse. <laughs> go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Just assuming that I'm gonna go after them? I mean, I do have to get my wagon back. Who's a good horse? That's my damn wagon! All right, to stop the wagon, you can block its path, jump aboard. You know what I'm gonna try to do? You ain't getting away with that! Ready to jump! Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, of course, this is how I start things off. Get up, you damn horse! Wasn't even that bad a crash. Tell me that again. He's not by my standards. Oh, listen to this music. This is a subtle version of the main theme from Red Dead Redemption 1, which of course stars John Marston. All right, let's try this again. Oh, look out for the trees. Boss man's so rich, he don't need oh, the Whoa. This <laughs> one's got a stone in it. That was a hell of a jump. Get the hell out of here, you asshole. And we're right by the back entrance. Good thing those boys took a roundabout route to get out of here. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. 
I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. Hello? But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. Uh... We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, now you need a me, little huh? cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. We'll get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. All right. Got myself a job? My own little cabin? Nope. Hmm? Nothing too fancy, but it'll do. Nope. Oh. Epilogue Part 1, Pronghorn Ranch. So, we've still got a bit more to go in the story here. And there we go. Mission complete. The wheel. With a silver medal, no less. And since I always like to see how I did on these objectives... <laughs> yeah, I messed up the part where I had to chase the wagon. And new horses are available to purchase in the Blackwater and Tumbleweed stables, but first, who's this here? Rachel? Ooh, a thoroughbred. Hey there, Rachel. Man, she's a big girl. We're getting there, ain't we? I'll have to take her for a spin later and see how she compares to Lam Ray, Arthur's horse. That was an American standard bread, so probably not quite as fast. On the radar, looks like we've got a mission up ahead. So let's go to the map. Tom Dickens, Abigail and Jack are due to arrive at your cabin. So let's zoom out to see where we are relative to the rest of the map. Wow, looks like the extreme western edge. And look at that. Some of those stranger missions that I started with Arthur are still available. Maybe I can go check some of those out if I get bored of ranching work. So, before we start on our missions, let's check out our cabin real quick. Alright, got a bunk bed over there for Jack. And a bigger bed in the corner for me and Abigail. And speaking of Abigail... I hope she knows that I would tell those fellers my name was Jim Milton. I don't know if we've practiced using that alias. Because that could lead to an awkward situation if they go to pick her up from town. She doesn't know who they're looking for. Ooh, some premium cigarettes. Always want to take those. Because they level up your dead eye. Just by picking them up. Not that I'm anticipating shooting too many folks on this ranch. Yeah, it's me again. All right, let's take our new horse out for a spin. Even though Dickens isn't that far away. Where are we? Around the side? No, no. Oh. Hmm. Nope. Give me him. Not there. No, no. <laughs> now, now. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, what? Milton. Oh, my. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep, I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. 
You hear that, John Jim? Ugh. Extra hard. Yeah, hey. that was... Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Yeah, John Jim. It's like the DM had John make a deception check, and he just rolled a four. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah, because there's no way she's going to find out about that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. All right, she's on point with the fake names. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Oh. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Well, I hope those walls are soundproof. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... What, hired muscle? I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. Got some cows here. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well... It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? What? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, oh. just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap oh. better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. Except I can't even walk a straight line. Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. All right. What? Get that hay out of my body. Well... <laughs> Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Well. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. At least you got the name right this time. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Left or right? This doesn't seem too bad. It's easy, right? Almost got a pail full. All right. And as someone who has milked a cow in real life, it's not quite as simple as that, but same basic principle. It does take a lot longer. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. All right, let's go a little faster this time. I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta earn our kill. keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? <laughs> sure. Come on, son. This ought to be good. How 
told you now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm like cleaning out a few piles of shit. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. All right, so we've done this type of work before. With Arthur. Hold on. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Right, drop it off. Oh. <laughs> It splashes. So yeah, remember, uh, Look out. Arthur had to clean out Emmett Granger's pig pen. This is a dog's work. He was one of those retired gunslingers. You almost got me. <laughs> Wouldn't stand further back then, damn. Oh. Get the rest in a montage. He's doing a good job contrasting honest living with the excitement of our previous lifestyle. Last one. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Exactly. I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. What? Hey, you're the one who likes them King Arthur stories, boy. And yeah, you take your time with that wheelbarrow. Your mama and I need some alone time. You know, milking and shoveling. It's not as stimulating as robbing and killing. But if it's gonna make Abigail happy. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Oh, won't do him no harm. No. I know. Don't sit on the bed in your shit pants. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Oh, look at the two of us in pursuit of a better lifestyle or a simpler lifestyle at least. I'll put some coffee on. Nope. Good morning. <laughs> Alright, new day, new shirt, $3 for my troubles, and a gold medal for simple pleasures. Nice. Let's check out the objectives. Yeah, speed demon on this one. It's easier to do them quickly when they're just basic chores, rather than dangerous outlaw tasks. All right, we've got two missions available here. There's David Geddes, may need to speak to you. And then we've got T, oh, T, come on. Yep, Tom Dickens, some work to be done around the ranch. Well, I'm supposed to be working extra hard and that's a more specific objective. So let's go up and speak to Tom. And no, walking's for suckers. I'm back, girl. Let's jump on Rachel here. Not an especially long ride, but gotta bond with our horse a little more. All right, what you got for me? 
building a fence over there? It's another thing I'm probably no good at. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Oh, well, look who just passed his insight check. Good for you. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yeah, as long as you give me a tutorial, I'll learn real fast. Well, yep. there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. <laughs> Interesting way of holding that hammer. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. All right. Let's do the top one first. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? I got it. Now the next rail. That's it. Lift with the legs. Okay. Good. All right. That's two. <laughs> yeah, drop it low, John. You're doing all right. Get into your squat. Got it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. All right, another montage. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, exert it out, John. And... Are you gonna tell me which direction to go in, or... Just kind of leave it up to me. All right. Back at it. Jim Milton, over here. What? All right, give me a second. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. You can't just leave that post half done. Is that a bull? Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. <sighs> Milton, get over here. What? Coming. I'm Come on, literally right hand. next to you. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. I know how it feels. Mr. Milton? What? Angus Come is your on. boss's son. We interrupted that conversation. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Whoa. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Not a slapped him. Oh. Shit! I'll get him! Alright, use our lasso. Just keep on, Milton. Oh, come on! I gotta build that! No! No! Uh oh! Get out of the way! Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on! Ooh, I just got trampled there. Alright, let's try this again. Now, where are you going? Easy. Whoa. Oh, oh no! I haven't been dragged like that since I got off Twitter. Come on! Am I gonna have to rebuild that too? The cows in there seemed awful calm. Given all that commotion. Alright, let's try that again. Whoa! Missed me. Alright. One more time. Got him! All right. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Make a handle animal check. There, there. Uh, there, there. How's Come John's on, charisma man. score? It ain't 
ain't so bad. <laughs> nice and easy now, boy. Pretty good? Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. All better? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now come on, you hunk of chuck. Relax, my friend. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> All right. It's a good day's work. Built a fence. Calmed down a bull. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Real good morning. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> get the place to tidy. She seems real happy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. What's up with that music? Sound, that sounded kind of ominous, don't you think? Alright, let's check out how we did. Yeah. I tried my best to dive out of the way of the bull, but... I guess that wasn't enough. And now, David Geddes is the only mission available. If I had to guess, it's going to be some more boring ranch work. But... Trying to do our best to get used to this honest living. And oh, my horse must still be in that field from where I left her in the last mission. Although, it's a new day. Shouldn't she have wandered back over here? Well, either way, I guess I'm hoofing it. And speaking of it being a new day, this is the third outfit of John's we've seen. There's the red and white striped shirt, the plain white shirt, now this red union suit type dealie. It's weird, Arthur never changed his clothes unless I changed them. I guess John has higher standards in hygiene. Where are my other hands? Oh. Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I mean, I'm right here. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Yep, more day-to-day -day chores. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Well, uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. All right, so Mr. Geddes doing a bit of philandering. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. 
<laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Is he calm? He doesn't look calm. Well, give me a chance. Relax. Well, give me a chance. Settle down, okay? All right. Come on. Keep calming. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> that actually sounds pretty tasty. Calm down. Maybe not for a horse, though. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <sighs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the Boy, corral, Ben. All right. There you are. <laughs> Gotta tire out Jeremiah. All right, deplete Jeremiah's stamina to calm him enough for Duncan to ride. Come on! Where's that big mean horse? And I remember this music. We first heard this way back in chapter three. Come on! Let it all out of you. Remember when Dutch and Arthur raced back to camp after we destroyed the Braithwaite's moonshine still? You got some energy? Show me this. I guess this is like the random horse riding theme. Not as fun as the horse race from Ocarina of Time. But... Yeah, boy. Whoa, yeah, look out. Jeremiah. <laughs> Almost crashed into that wagon there. Whoa, not in the barn. Everything you've got, come on. How's your jumping? Nicely done. Let's get a lather up. And again. Good job. Whoa, pick up that box. Now I'm going around the length of that fence. All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. All right, go to Duncan and let him ride Jeremiah. Where the heck is he? You're on the right. Ah, oh, missed the turn. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry there, cows. Oh, come on. This happens every time I try to mess with the camera. Jeez. By the time I get out of here, your stamina is going to be all the way up again. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Nice. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. All right. Seems like I'm a pretty good teacher here. And got a pony for Jack out of the deal. So this is going pretty well. You, Mr. Milton? 
I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? Well, I'm sorry, Ma. Excuse me there. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right. Gotta help Mrs. Gettys. And... Man, you got some good-looking horses here. All right, here we go. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. Whoa. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. What? Go on. Just stick a hand in there? Whatever you say, ma'am. There's got to be more to it than that. Nope. Maybe not. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Okay. And pull. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. Oh, I hope so. Thank That's you. Some subtle physical contact there. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Uh, Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. Is she coming on to me? I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? What? <laughs> I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Milton. Okay, well, I guess I made the honorable choice there. Not to cheat on Abigail. And it's not giving me a mission objective, but on the radar, looks like there's a yellow dot. Down near our cabin. Eh, that was kind of a difficult situation. I mean, obviously, I don't want to run afoul of the boss by messing around with his wife. But on the other hand, I don't know how she's going to take my rejection. Like, she might talk bad about me and make things complicated. But, oh well. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not the only one. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, my fault. this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been right there listening. He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Man, you can cut the tension in here with a knife. Or maybe a, with a broken pirate sword. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Okay, Missy. Let's go. There's Abigail. Come to see us off. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? What? No. You're... Stay calm. Oh. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. All right. Going for a nice little ride? A horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. All right, let's get a closer look. 
Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... All right, we can control Jack's speed. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mine? Okay. Whoa. Don't let Jack go too fast. He may get bucked off his horse. So we gotta be careful here. But yeah, we can amp this up just a little bit. Even faster, come on. Faster? And it still doesn't look like he's going that fast, so probably good to go up one more. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. What's happening? Well, Help! Uh oh. Easy there. The guy Easy overdid it. There. Can I slow him down? Whoa! Jack! Oh. Whoa! Jack! <laughs> Whoa! Jack! Got caught in a time loop there. You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. Yep. You know what they say about falling off your horse. All right, let's go again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yep. Okay, this time we know we don't want to take it past level two. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy! Okay, we're at our limit, so let's just trot along and enjoy the scenery. Man, look at that. Basic land mountain off in the distance. You know, I think I could really get used to this whole parenting thing. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. I was playing with fire there, but I think we got to the next part of the mission. Keep oh, going. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Jack. And we're heading up to a stream here, so we've got plains, forest, mountain, and stream could be considered an island. Pretty much all the basic land types except swamp. And we got enough of that near San Denis. Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! What? I was still turned around. That ain't fair. Although, you know what? It feels like... I think I'm gonna do the responsible, supportive father thing. Go ahead and let Jack win. I mean, I could easily mop the floor with him on this thoroughbred, but where's the fun in that? Oh. Don't get cocky, boy. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! At least he's having fun. Be in front for long. This horse can go. <laughs> you think that horse is fast? Let me tell you about a horse I knew named Lamray. She belonged to this feller named Arthur Morgan. We never really talk about him because we're doing it, boy. Come to think of it, why doesn't anybody mention Arthur? I'm right behind you. Last straight. Come on. Hey up. Maybe we just want a clean break from our previous life. All right, Jack got the W. I beat you, I beat you, I Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too, what? you need it. Gunshots in the distance. This time the spooky music sting makes sense. 
Gotta go investigate that disturbance. Whoa. Who's this now? Whoa! You wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Whoa! This <laughs> Come on, get him. All right, here we go. Whoa, too slow. Get that hat off. Ooh. Got him with the combos. <laughs> Good knockdown. I'm gonna smell like your own dumb. If you shit your pants after this beating I'm giving you. Well, yeah, looks like he needs a lot of help. Ooh. Don't you ever, ever talk about how I smell. Get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, well, you can fight, boy. Try. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Yeah, I had a choice. But I made the choice that kept us and our benefactor safe. I mean... What good is it living an honest life if we get robbed and shot by these bandits? Uh, I don't know. We all get caught eventually, John. Well? I guess the trick is to decide by who. When did Dutch say that? I feel like that's something I would have remembered. But anyway, let's see. What? We'll get back to Gettys later. Well, when did I take a hit? I thought that was a flawless victory. I won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. All right, well, we'll investigate that domestic another day. Because I'm going to go ahead and end it here. With John Marston, uh, I mean Jim Milton having started his new life as a ranch hand. Although, our outlaw tendencies are creeping up here and there, which Abigail's none too happy about. But on the other hand, who's to say I would have even gotten hired in the first place if I didn't chase off them Laramie boys when I first arrived? So, there's an interesting dynamic here, as I try to conform to a quote-unquote normal life while making sure I could still protect myself in these wild times. So... We'll see how all that goes in the next episode.